today we're going to work on developing a great pak sao. Pak sao means slapping hand. So there's a lot of misconceptions about the pak sao because of the name, a slapping hand. But we're not seeking or running around swatting at it like a fly. It's a very controlled movement. In order to do the pak correctly, we want to have a great mon sao, which is in front of the body. Take your Wu Sao or waiting hand back and just chamber it up. And what we're going to do is just some little um, movements with the front arm. I'm going to take my fingertips and raise them up, let the elbow come out. I'm going to drop again. Up, back. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Then switch, chamber there and back. Up. As we're going up, you can see the elbow is going into the line with the shoulder here. And that's a skill we started on in our Sunum Tao. So we're going up and it's kind of going back. I let the elbow come out. As I push forward, I push that elbow back in. From the side view here, I have my Mon Sao. I can take the Wu Sao back and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bump the hand up, bring the elbow out. You can see there's not a lot of backward motion. As I'm doing this, I'm going up, pulling the elbow out, and the hand's fingertips go straight to the ceiling. After you've done about 10 or so of these, you should start to feel it. I'm keeping that hand on that vertical midline in the center here. Let the elbow come up and out. So I'm twisting up, twisting up. And your forearm burning a little bit, a little bit of the bicep. Switch. As I'm doing this, you'll want to make certain that you're not pulling the hand back. You're not going like this to the shoulder. Just up and back, up and back, up and back. We're going to be working up to the Pak Sao palm strike. Now, Pak starts off in the center from our Wu Sao position. As the hand turns up, we then press to the side, slapping it out of the way to make room for our other one. There it is. Hands up, boom. From the side view, pulling the hand up like this, it's pushing over, and the hand's pressing through as the way is open. You want to move very slowly with this at first to get the motions down. And fingertips go up, press to the side as it's drawing back slightly. This needs to fill in the space. Bang. Fingers up, hands pressing. Let the Wu Sao waiting hand rush in to fill that space. Let that Wu Sao fill in as soon as that path is clear going forward. Some common mistakes people make with the pock is starting it too low and reaching around for it. We're not reaching for it, or if someone's moving forward towards us, we want to move forward towards them. If the punch is now, uh, this is on the other side too, if they're moving towards us, we want to reach up the middle, pock, and punch. Now we're not moving today on this. If I was to get that slap, I can take a step. Take a step. Right? I'm not going like this and trying to, to bat them out of the way. I'm trying to do is connect and move through. Connect. Move through. Even if I don't get that connection, I still have that line to attack. 
So that's how you use pox out. Another mistake people make is just keeping this moving like this. The hands, the fingertips got to come up, right? Even on my downward pock, which comes up later on, I let this hand come up. Right? And it's already up here on the woo. Let those fingertips come up and the elbow come out. That gives me something to move off of. All right, I hope you guys are staying healthy and happy up there. I want you to work on these drills to get the skills to build so we can work on the lead arm defense. Of course, Tan, got Fook, got Gon, Hawk, not so much just the regular punch. So we're gonna be putting those together. So keep working at it, keep going, make sure you're doing something every day for yourself. And I want you all to remember, Kung Fu is for everybody. Bye.